Jesus, you know, have anybody raised a Christian tradition here? Okay, so you probably understand it. If, the way I was talking about prayer, all you have to do is say at the end of your oration, in Jesus' name, amen. And then all the words proceeding come true, right? That is, Jesus will answer your prayer, right? And so I told him, I was like, Mom, I listened to you, I was in all of the sermons, and Dad was like, Dad said, Dear Jesus, precious Paul, please, please, let me wake up tomorrow morning and pop a boner from a shelf right <laughs> When people talk to me about, we have to wait just a little bit more. Because this is an election year. And you don't want John Mayer to win. So why would you ruffle the feathers? Why would you hold these people accountable? Yeah, I know that these two senators, they voted against y'all you know, last week. And they would rather keep the ranch, don't tell. And they would put you at lower priority at the bottom of the barrel. But you know what? The political reality is we don't pronounce this stuff. Because you don't want to have the other thing happen. You don't want to have a repeat of Bush. You don't want to have a repeat of the king. You don't want Palin to be the president. So you hear all of these you know, false choices. As if our coming out means to be prioritized. Our truth needs to be prioritized to an election cycle. You're not late. There's no convenient time to do it. You have to do it now. And people will tell you that it's not a right time to go and ruffle feathers. But there is no time like the present. When I came out, sure it felt good in a lot of ways, but also felt bad. And if I look at all of the consequences, getting fired, of going through all of this misery and hell with my parents, if I just see what it felt to me, then I would say it wasn't worth it. But I know that there was somebody else who heard it. And they said, if that guy could stand up, if that guy could be there, if that person could pronounce it on the minaret, Say, he was? Then I can too, because maybe if that guy's somebody, then I'm somebody. Here, right now, I am somebody. I deserve full equality. I demand full equality. Would you say that with your little son? Somebody, I deserve full equality. Right here, right now, I am somebody. I deserve full equality. I demand full equality. So don't underestimate the power of the time that we're living in right now. It's a revolutionary time. 
No stretch of the imagination. Everybody knows that. You have the tools to share through Twitter or through Facebook or through your networks. There are drawbacks, but when you share that personal story, and you will let people know, and people can acknowledge that that's what's going on. That's the only way that people are going to finally pay attention to the crisis.